Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another one of Double Fine's Fantastic Little Production. This is the remaster of Grim Fandango in HD. Look forward to actually checking out some of the classic Double Fine Entertainment. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Mm, no. It, just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. In community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Effie. Just take the sentences one word at a time. You'll get it. Memos are for reading and throwing away, and not much else. Memos are memos are for reading and. Th Better take these cards. It looks. I don't feel like pitching cards right now.
Hey, service. Hey, genie. Come out of the lantern already. Huh? Oh, <laughs> sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. I'll just change it. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Diva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I mean. Rest. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets.
Say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Oh, favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, uh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Nice bathroom. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yap. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait. Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera, like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey, now you're blaming the client? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... Sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Thanks, but I got solitaire on the computer, Manny. Thanks, but I got solitaire on the computer, Manny. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. suits and your nose holes way up in the air sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes how fancy is that huh don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery huh you think you're better than me no good
Let's go. In fact, I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Ta-da! Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? My kid. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. My kid, uh, jeez. Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. <laughs> Look out below. sound good. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. Okay, that's the end of that lecture. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom. Well... See you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Server's down again. What else is new?
But then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. The wheel won't budge. I've just locked an open door. Strange. Yet symbolically compelling. Good enough for government work. Said this call mark, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteered time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Said this call mark. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago. 
go, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it! And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected! This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Coming up next time on Grim Fandango! You are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club, Salvador Limones. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, my friend. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers! You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament. She's my ticket out of here. I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. All this and more in Grim Fandango, Episode 2.